Welcome back. It's Carl here. Today in Power BI, we're going to be working on more dashboards. And in our dashboard, we're going to come up with a problem and then we're going to give you guys the solution. So if you have a dashboard, you know that in the different tiles, all these tiles have no interactive functions. Only thing you can do is your tooltips. So if you hover over certain things, you'll just get your tooltips. But if you wanted to click on something like this, like you'll be pushed back to the Power BI report, but and you won't be able to do the same thing that you, that you can do in the Power BI report that you would like to do or probably want to do in that dashboard. So if we go back to our dash, if we go back to our dashboard, we see here that if we want to click on this South region, then we want only these South regions to show. But when we click on that, we just keep pushing, it keeps pushing us back to our report. And as the end user, the end user may want to see some live interactions when they go to that dashboard. So how do we do that? Well, if you come up here to these three asterisks and you say more options, you can say pin to a dashboard. So the difference is instead of pinning these to a visual, you can pin this entire report to a dashboard. So let's just say pin to a dashboard. And with this, we're just going to pin it to the existing dashboard so we can find it in that report so we're just going to hit here pin live and then we're going to go to that dashboard and now we can scroll down here and select into our actual visual so now when we select the south <coughs> the south region we see all the bubbles pop up for the south region and we can also interact with our maps in our visual now note that when you select that from that live view nothing still will change here so you just have to understand that if you want a power bi dashboard that has interaction to it where when you click into it and you click on the slicers that you want things to respond the way they would in a power bi report then you will have to pin this entire report to a visual versus just pending individual visuals to a visual and that is how you solve the problem of being able to interact with your Power BI report on the dashboard.